Hi guys, Charmian here from Food by Charmian. I am going to do a pumpkin, uh, a pumpkin drink. It can be called a vegan, uh, vegan eggnog or vegan puncha crema or crema in Trinidad and Tobago. I had a request it about some months ago for a vegan puncha crema or a puncha crema without eggs, minus the eggs. And this can simply be summed up at, as such, this demo. If you live internationally, you will more classify this as a pumpkin pie drink, okay? But literally minus the crust. So I'm using a kind of imported uh, pumpkin puree. That's why it looks a scholar. Uh, for my fellow Trinidadians, it's as simple as you buying fresh pumpkin over here. And because you all know we don't really access uh, pumpkin in the can over here, cook puree pumpkin. So it's as simple as you buy how much of a pumpkin you want, uh, steaming it off without salt, butter, oil, anything, steaming it off very bland, the way you do your puree baby foods. I'm giving you all an idea. And you get it out of the water as it's done in, and you put it down into your, uh, your blender, and you just press puree. It's as simple as that it's gonna give you the texture that you're seeing there. Because in here, it's literally mash. With the back of the spoon, you see? It's mash. You just do up close, you ought to see texture. Right? It's not sweet potato filling, I guarantee you all that. It's pumpkin. So, so I'm going to start now by getting this together. It's a very easy drink. And to make it even easier, it's going on in my crock pot. What we would call in Trinidad and Tobago, a slow cooker. I have uh, one reason specially for, um, I have one reason specially for things like these. I don't put any meats whatsoever in this mini one. So you want to do things like that. I know a lot of my international friends are using crock pot bags in any event. So a lot of the cooking, it won't be directly in their crock pot or slow cooker. So that's going to prevent cross flavors in any event. Uh, you don't have to do it in your crock pot. You can. You don't have to do it in your crock pot. You can do it uh, in your blender. Okay, is there is? It's just that I want it done in the crock pot, and a lot of my uh, my international viewers will appreciate it because they use their crock pot a lot. In Trinidad, some persons hardly use their crock pot. My own does a lot here for me at my home. I love it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to get ready. Just watch all these steps. I have some full cream UHG milk. If you live uh, internationally, you can use heavy cream or half and half. I have some sweetened condensed milk. One can to be exact. I'm not calling bran. And I have some pure vanilla extract from an essence house. Believe it or not, we get nutmeg essence at the essence house I go to. So this is what it looks like. And this is some grung, freshly grung uh, nutmeg. This, uh, the smell of that is just ridiculously amazing and you know when they do this uh, pumpkin uh, drinks and so forth and pie in the US they put pumpkin pie spice in Trinidad we don't access that so I want to say if you have pumpkin pie uh, spice you live internationally it's going to be great inside of this I'm just going to use some other spices to warm things up uh, because I don't have it on hand certain ingredients when you do things in uh, like international recipes and demos like I do cover it at times you need to bring in your stuff Okay, so this is my mini crock pot. I was referring to I Already have it warming because remember this this demo is just a straight run through Literally my vintage milk bottle. It holds about two and a quarter cup of milk I'm gonna get all of that inside of there. Okay, so, like I said, this is strictly reserved for the use of uh, stuff, other stuff besides meat. I don't put meat down in this whatsoever. If you want to know where I purchased it, just comment below. But they don't have any more. I, I can tell you all that because I'm always at this particular store. So remember, it's just a vintage milk bottle. I'm going to do a shot of it because it might come up as a question. I want you to see the bottle. It is not a brand of milk. Use the brand that you are comfortable or familiar with. Okay? So it's sweating a bit on the inside, of course. I'm gonna get in my all of my milk. Remember, I just call out how much this bottle holds, okay? So in went all of that.
use spatulas that you don't use for cooking you don't want cross flavors okay so these are some i use for baking seasonally around this time of year christmas this demo is being recorded uh boxing day in trinidad and tobago because we are all on different time zones so some countries it's already night in their nation okay so i'm just getting in all my uh i know a lot of persons don't like canned stuff myself included but you know you know sometimes you want to you know and then it's going to give it the really authentic uh american uh pumpkin pie flavor using this one uh, okay i know some person because it can't stuff it it's this these uh this fragrance of the can and so forth lingers on them i know because i could smell it believe me even as i'm using it i'm getting a strong scent of it but i'm gonna you won't even taste it because i'm gonna fix it up of course so just let me just uh, use a whisk to incorporate that. You see how it's just so solid, so it's not incorporated. I'm going to use my electric, my electric whisk, okay? So let me get it in there. You won't hear me while I'm just running it. For a couple seconds, not even minutes, seconds. I'll take it looks about there is where I want it. Looks really thick. I'm gonna add the listen. If you find it's a bit too thick, remember what the soap cooker does and any product you cover, it's gonna not uh, simmer, it's gonna just stay the texture you put it and the condensed milk isn't too thick, so I'm gonna get it in there. If you want it a bit thinner, of course, most of you that live locally, you won't be using this brand in any event. But for my American friends, if you or international friends, sorry, you just wanna get a bit more of the milk in there. That's all. color is so pretty it's almost like carrots when the milk hits you don't want to or ever add too much liquids i won't just say water because we use different things in our crock pot or so cooker don't ever add too much liquids in it okay because it just it's it just keeps liquid that's one of the things with it so you always want to start by adding very little of course unless of course you are cooking beans dry beans like we get over here you want to make sure it's fully covered in it okay you just needed to give that tip so you all remember how ticket was looking and now here we are it's a good thing i didn't add any the the condensed milk although it's really thick it it helped to dilute it somewhat in texture to get it thin okay the level of sweetening on this will be on your taste i won't speak on that but please don't put additional sugar in here you straight up condensed milk don't add sh uh, sugar whatsoever if you want two cans of milk so be it i'm getting ready now to add uh, I need that's a pinch of salt. I'll add a coarse, some coarse sea salt, a very bit. When I say a pinch, I liken that onto quarter spoon, uh, of a spoon. We do cut salt balance all these things nicely, okay? And keep in mind that this was canned stuff, so it will have some salt in it. This is the amount of coarse sea salt I'm using, no more than that. So I'm going to get my nutmeg powder. I know the pumpkin spice uh, will take it up quite a notch. I'm going to add some of the pure clear vanilla extracts. Extract, I should say, sorry. Right, this is what it looks like. I did a feature on only the extract and essences that I use. Be free to check it out. I have a video on, the on my YouTube channel of it. I'm just going to get a bit of the ah uh, the nutmeg extract in there also these things are very potent they are not diluted in any way shape or for my supermarket stuff and the color is going to add to that pretty color that the pumpkin will have don't go berserk with your uh with your nutmeg okay i'll put just a bit of regular uh ground spice in there also and let it go remember i said you can use two cans of milk okay i 
I'm going to put to, to, to add some paste. I'm going to put, I will say, half teaspoon of this is on average. I'm going to put in there. You want to still taste your pumpkin coming through beautifully. It's in a, a beautiful jar that I have. It's freshly. I try and get it freshly done as possible. If you have a grinder, coffee grinder, you can grind your own stuff. I'm going to put a bit of ginger powder in there also for warmth. It's going to be brilliant in there also. Just for warm, nothing else. You don't want to taste ginger, you just want to warm up things. And you leave this to go for, I'll say, on high, 45 minutes to one hour. Keep monitoring it because one of the things with the crock pots, they darken your food, your food stuff that you put cooking it. So you always want to monitor it. And don't leave it on after in your crock pot after it's finished simmering okay you just need I, I just need to get my waist to get them incorporated my uh my spice that is and easy like that we are done of course i'll present the final product for you all remember i spoke and i said this is what we consider uh, most persons will say it's a vegan uh i don't know much of a vegan that's the right word to use because it contains milk but what i will say is eggless eggless uh, egg nut or uh, eggless pancha crema in Trinidad and Tobago pancha crema or pancha crema uh, the only thing is if you want to make turn this into pancha cream or pancha crema as it is only in Trinidad and Tobago you will have to add I will say about a cup of rum once you are adding the rum definitely you'll have to use two cans of your uh, your condensed sweet and condensed milk okay that's the only difference remember follow all these steps just use two cans of milk one cup one cup of rum or more depending on your teas i'm gonna just get in a, a batch of our uh our brand of pitons aromatic bitters i'm not calling brand it's a local brand those of you that uh have trini roots or you are born over here you are citizens you know what i'm speaking about which brand internationally there's another our next brand that sold look for aromatic bitters and get it in there brand isn't important what's important is getting it in there and that's the color the aromatic bitters carry locally smells just amazing the, the, the this uh this whole drink smells just amazing you won't believe that and it's not yet simmered remember i said you don't have to leave it to simmer in your soap cooker so you want to keep watching for the final pres uh, presentation or presentation of it remember i call time okay all right so keep watching so guys uh my my pumpkin drink it's finished uh simmering i wanted it to simmer for the flavors to marry for them to become one okay but it's finished simmering i want to say something a vegan is someone that don't eat or drink anything from animals so it is not vegan because it contains milk of course from animal okay if you are vegan and you want to try something i suggest probably you try the vanilla uh flavored uh silk and so forth and you go from there some persons might even want to try it with coconut milk i don't know much about that one to change the flavors but if you want to do that feel free to do so what i will say it's an eggless uh it's an eggless pumpkin drink or an eggless puncha crema or crema crema is the only difference is that it doesn't have the alcohol in it but remember remember sorry i covered all of that already I did so I don't want to repeat myself really I just want to you know present the final present uh, product for you all uh, this is the pumpkin that I used I don't want to hold it over my crock pot this is the pumpkin that I use you see it's the American pumpkin that's what I was saying but go back and listen uh, to what I said I saw you can achieve puree pumpkin here okay so it smells just lovely the the smell is amazing i want you all to same goes with your ladles this ladle that i'm using it's a new ladle so there'll be no cross flavors as kalaloo and peas and the likes this, is, this was used for the very first time in this okay so you want to pay attention to things like that you just want to give it a gentle stir you're seeing all the spices there the entire house smells just amazing my kitchen everywhere is filled with the goodness of this uh 
this being a punch. If you want to store it, you need to store it in a glass bottle that you sanitize, okay? Please sanitize your, your glass bottle, sterilize it. By sanitize, I mean sterilize it and get it in the coldest part of your refrigerator. Please make note that uh, the door of any refrigerator is the least coldest part. Don't stay there, store it there, sorry. It contains milk. You need it to be kept well, okay? So a bottle like this, you want to store it in. But please, throw boiling hot water, put boiling hot water into it, swish it around, and then it's sanitized, okay? Or sterilized. So I'm getting straight into uh, getting it into my glass. If you want to spike this, remember what I said, how much alcohol you need to use. I suggest white rum because you don't want to change your pretty color, okay? It's warm, so it will cloud the glass. If you want, you can serve it. Uh, you can wait until it's cooled down. It's not hot, it's warm. It's a difference. You can wait until it's cooled down to serve it. But you know, in uh, a lot of the uh, nations of the earth where they have colder weather, they serve these drinks hot. They are really uh, persons wait for around this time of the year, the holidays or Christmas time, more the holidays to have these drinks. They are only seasonally uh, carried by a lot of the high-end uh, coffee shops and so forth. Okay, so you can have it yourself year round. Imagine that. Some persons, they will never try new things unless it's somebody that they trust me. They, remember, I said it smells really good, okay? So, you want to... You want to now go into that uh, to garnish in it or, you know, getting your nice trimmings on it. I want you to be mindful when you're getting it into a glass, make sure that whichever glass you're using can take a lot of heat, okay? Because even though it was simmering, it's still somewhat, you know, of a hot temperature against the glass because you don't want your glass to shatter on you, right? You all know I, I walk through everything with you all. I don't just come on here trying to look fancy and nothing else is being done. So be mindful of that. If you want to put it in a glass, just make sure that a glass can take, can take heat. Uh, I have some insulated mason jars. I'm not using it today. It's on my eggnog demo. Um, you can use, you know, those teacups, the clear ones with handles, just like the glass looks. That'd be perfect because remember, it's a teacup. It's just clear. It's just glass looking, okay? So I'm going to get some just regular original flavor whipped cream because they contain, now we have different flavor whipped cream, believe it or not. So this is the original flavor. You want to give it a good shake, store it in probably like your freezer before you use it because on this hot drink, it's going to uh, go by very quickly, okay? It's going to melt down very quickly, but it is serve on warm drinks also whipped cream. Right, so like there, and I'm just going to get some of my uh, ground up made on the top of it. Guys, a pleasure. It was my own doing this for you all. If you don't know Fubai by Shamian, we are all over social media we are on instagram we have a youtube channel we have a public facebook page all under one name food by shamion we have a website i have a website www.foodbyshamion.com if you want to send me an email you want to chat with me privately please send me an email on uh foodbyshamion at gmail.com use all common letters i have a board on pinterest also that board name is food by shamion Guys, I thank you all for watching. The pleasure as always. It was my own. Until I'm with you all. Bye.